Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install my blocks for sensors that you don't have the blocks to. So, um, as an example for this, you can go ahead and open up your Mindstorms. And once you're in, in Mindstorms, you can check uh, which blocks you do and don't have by opening a project and you can go to your sensors um, area here for the blocks and you can see that we have the color sensor, infrared, uh, we have the odometer like for the motor rotation sensor and we have the touch sensors but um, since I wanted to program a gyro sensor I don't have that block so it's pretty simple all you have to do is open up your chrome and then search up mind storms ev3 all right from there um you can open up the mindstorms on lego.com and go to downloads no another time go to downloads from there if you scroll all the way down you can see um either ev3 soft uh, uh, software bl uh, block download for pc and mac and so um since we want to use the gyro sensor we can click the download button and it'll download a file that's an ev3b and so like if you just click on it nothing will happen you'll have to choose the uh, application and no application that i know of will be able to open one of those but um anyways from there you want to open up your mindstorms ev3 and you want to go to tools and you want to go to block import from there uh you have to click on select blocks to import and then go to your downloads and take your gyro, send, uh, gyro block. From there, click import. And you'll have to restart your UV3 editor, but that shouldn't be much of a problem if you have saved your program. And I cannot stress this enough. Save your program, or if you're going for a competition, then it's going to be a big problem for you. So make sure it's imported. And then you have to restart your ev3 software and then open up mindstorms ev3 again and if you click on the new project then you should be able to see um your new gyro sensor block here and not only that uh if you want to use the weight block then you can ev you even have the gyro sensor option here and this works with other kind of sensors like the sound sensor from high technic i believe uh, temperature sensor which is also from high technic and the ultrasonic sensor and energy meter block and it's really simple but you have to make sure that you have your um, ev3 software downloaded first you have an ev3 brick and you have your sensor um so that's it for today's video hope this helped you and uh, if you like this video leave a like and subscribe